Today we're going to take a closer look on how the ferry works here in Norway, how to pay for the ferries and what to do when you first arrive at the ferry dock. A lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram, on Facebook and uh, different uh, forums uh, online asking me about the ferries in Norway. And I see in some of the groups on Facebook there is a lot of questions and debate about how the ferry works here in Norway. I will try to uh, answer some of the most common questions I see that is uh, repeated a lot online. How to pay for the ferry ride? Well, this answer needs a little bit of explanation because post-COVID you had to pay on the ferry, the ticket man came over to you and you had to pay for it but uh, I think it was 1st of January 2020 they started a new system that every ferry in Norway should be under the autopass deal. When that started up it wasn't without any issues, uh, they had some problems with uh, getting all the system up working and uh, stuff like that. But to pay on the ferry today, they um, take a picture of your license plate and you will get an invoice uh, afterwards in your mail. So when you drive uh, into the ferry, in some cases the, the guy on board the ferry will stop you right uh, before you drive in and take a picture of your license plate or they walk around on the um, the ferry afterwards, after, after everyone is parked, and take a picture of every license plate, uh, license plate then. Because this didn't work as good, everyone that was here under COVID or before COVID, they didn't get an invoice. But uh, I was in contact with the company, Nulad, and I talked with uh, a nice lady there at uh, the customer service. And I asked her a couple of questions because I had this video in mind. And uh, I asked her why... Um, people didn't get any invoice uh, uh, abroad and she said that uh, in the beginning they didn't think they were gonna charge everyone because uh, it was too much trouble because they didn't have a good system for it but when they started adding up all the tourists that been to Norway with uh, camper vans, motorcycles and uh, every other vehicle they saw there were a lot of money it was millions that was missing in ticket fee so uh, I know they um, got a deal with a company abroad that are responsible to um, collect the money for uh, the tickets that has not been um, paid yet. So if you get the invoice for your ferry rides in Norway uh, this year, this summer, or maybe later, it's because uh, the system is a little bit slow. And that leads me to the second question. How much does a ferry ride cost and where can you get the sweet 50% discount? One trip with this ferry costs approximately 105 Norwegian krona, And if you have the autopass uh, deal, you will have 50% discount, so it's only 52 krona. So um, if you're going to go on the west coast of Norway, there will be a lot of discount if you have the Autopass of Dala. There are two ways of paying the Norwegian ferry rides. You can sign up for an Autopass deal on uh, autopassferie.no. Here you can go in and you can uh, sign up for a deal and you register your license plate. And uh, you have to pay in advance 3,500 Norwegian krona, And they will automatically withdraw money from that account when you ride around in Norway. Um, I know that sounds kind of expensive, but if you quit the deal after you finish traveling in Norway, you get a refund on all the, uh, the monies left on the account. So uh, if you just ride around in Norway and spend 1000 Norwegian krona, you will get the rest of the money back when you cancel the deal. And this is the only way to get the 50% discount on all the ferry rides. There's another um, 
easy way of uh, paying in Norway. If you only know, if you know, you're only taking uh, a couple of ferries on your trip, you go into ferrypay.no, and here you can uh, create an account. An important reminder on ferry pay is this is not an auto pass for ferry agreement. Therefore, you will not receive an ad uh, advance invoice or discount, but pay full price for each ferry journey. The ferry pay agreement works on all ferry connections in Norway that are part of the auto pass for the ferry scheme. See which connection apply here. Yeah, click the link. The ferry agreement does not apply to the most important connection. I do think that is because that's uh, a private owned ferry. Uh, I'm not quite sure, I haven't checked that up. But um, most ferries today are connected to the AutoPass uh, agreement. What do you do when you first arrive on a ferry dock? I see there's a lot of bikers that uh, just go into the line like everyone else and um, that's kind of like there's no golden rule, there's no um, the right way or the wrong way but most ferry companies kind of recommend the motorcyclist to skip the line and uh, place yourself in front of all the vehicles so they can get you aboard first because the, they can space the motorcyclist out to the corners of the ferry where it's easier to uh, fit more cars and more people on the ferry. If you ride in a group with more than two people, uh, you can easily just stay in line like a um, common courtesy, like everyone else, and you can just let one of the guys ride in front of the line, uh, sit your bike next to the ferry and just reach out to one of the ferry crew and uh, ask them if uh, he wants all the motorcycle in first or you should wait like all the others. In most cases you will see that you will be waved ahead and uh, get to ride aboard the ferry first because it's much easier and safer to uh, put the motorcyclists on the ferry first. And the ferry crew are responsible for uh, every passenger's uh, safety and uh, because they know that uh, the motorcyclist has to stand next to the motorcycle and take on and off their gear. Uh, it's kind of like a safety thing as well to place the motorcycle in front of the ferry. Yeah, and with that I just want to say that uh, I hope this video helped you and answered some of your questions. And um, if you have any questions, uh, other questions that I haven't covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below and I try to help and, uh, as in any way I can. So yeah, thank you for watching, take care, I'll see you in the next one.